He's been a good boy. I'm so proud of you, Joe. <laughs> That sounds like a love song From the birds in the sky Seems I'm falling Good morning. Happy Vlogmas. Happy Vlogmas, Tom. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, boys. Good morning, happy Vlogmas. It's the first morning in the new house with the kitties and the plants. Um, these guys made it in the trunk. I'm very excited and pleased with them. A couple Californians migrating over here. So today, in about an hour, our moving van should be here with a ton of stuff. Yeah, with this moving service, they put everything back the way they found it. Well, not the way they found it, it's in a different house, but they rebuild your bed, they assemble your furniture, all of that stuff. So I basically just have to tell them what room to put things in, which is so cool. Um, I don't know how our old stuff is gonna look in our new house, but I'm okay with playing with it for now and we'll see what happens. Um, later this week, we wanna shop for Christmas for sure, but first things first, let's get settled, let's get our things in order, let's get our toothbrushes here. <laughs> I think I have my toothbrush, but you know what I mean. All the cats are actually pretty confident roaming around, except for Joe. Um, Joe is a little bit more hesitant, but he did roam a little bit yesterday, and all the other cats have just been playing around here like they own the place. I'm gonna have my coffee, and then, uh, We'll get started on the day. How do you vlog this? Oh my god. The pool looks so pretty with the sunrise. Okay, update. I found Joe. He came down the stairs and I was so proud of him. And then he wandered off into Steve's area and then I couldn't find him. And uh, I noticed the cupboard in the bathroom was a little bit ajar. And, uh, yep. We got us a little chill. Is that your new home in there? Okay. You feel comfortable there? All right. We'll let him be. Oh, <laughs> Franklin's going to check on him. We'll let him be, Franks. Okay. We'll let both of you be. Have fun in there. Okay. Four types of cats. Yay, plants made it. Hello, buddies. How was your journey? Welcome to Nevada. Oh my God. Do you know how great my husband is? He, won't, he wrote the script for me to say right now. Hold on. Yes, 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 please. Eyes up, eyes up here, oh, okay. eyes up here. Thank you. My husband is so great. He bought me. This is really good. He bought me. Wow, you're doing really good. Oh, um, I'm an owner of the Green Bay Packers. Boom. An official shareholder, shareholder, baby. Look at that. It's official. Dude. Look at that. One whole share. Yes, please. Hell yeah. Um, and then I guess I could go to cool <laughs> dinners and stuff, and I'm really cool, and everyone knows I'm an owner. Yes, and they're going to respect you now. And they respect me. Yeah, so it's a big deal. I basically own Aaron Rodgers right Yeah, now. you get to make team decisions. So, do you think they're gonna play this weekend or are you gonna let them play? As an owner, Aaron, I need Aaron to like, come over for dinner and some drinks and stuff. Yeah, well obviously he has to, because you're an I'm owner. An, I'm an owner. Yeah. So, what what are you saying? No, I mean, should, should are you gonna allow them to play this weekend or no? Yeah, no, but they have to win. Okay, got it. That's. I mean, There's a new a, team directive. I'm kind of a, uh, yeah, I'm kind yeah, you're of a kind hard of a, ass. Yeah, 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 you're a workhorse. Yeah, but like, so if you're gonna be on my team, like, you have to win. Got it. Otherwise, I'll sell you. <laughs> <laughs> what about the self-confident girl? Guess you really need to be with her. She's so clever and so strong. Hello, 
good morning happy vlogmas it's very early in the morning well not very early but it's like seven in the morning i took a nap after the mover so yesterday all the movers were moving everything in unloading everything and i was uh, directing them which room to put things in and i was exhausted just from that i don't know how they do it but um I also was running on like four hours of sleep and then five hours of sleep from the night before and I'm an eight hour plus night asleep sleep a night person <clears throat> so that was my brain was just mush like throughout the move and driving and getting here and kitties and it's Christmas time and I'm oh, a new month and it's then Black Friday and the Christmas kittens and coffee sale and oh my god there's just so much going on my brain was just absolutely destroyed so um since we had a bed right after they left i laid down in our bed and i just crashed um i went to bed at like six uh but then i woke up we had some dinner and steve and i had talked about maybe um setting up the christmas tree because i'm so antsy to decorate for christmas but i was just way too tired so then i went back to sleep and then i woke up today at 6 30 um and i am so antsy to decorate for fucking Christmas. It's Christmas. Um, but <sighs> everything's in boxes. So before we can decorate for Christmas, the unpacking needs to happen. Gotta unpack our life. Um, I just need the house to run like a house first and then we can start adding shit to it. So all day today, that is my plan. I'm going to just unpack the shit out of everything. And hopefully by tonight, everything will be cleared out and we can set up our Christmas tree. Oh, please, 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 please. I have a lot to tell you guys, but uh, I will gather my thoughts and sip my coffee and then I will get back to you in a little bit. I hope you're having such a pleasant vlogmas. Don't do stupid. Look at this accidental living room coming together. I had not mean for this to happen. But here it is. This is not a forever situation, but this is how it is for right now. And it's so interesting because this has been in Steve's office for the past three years and I've, I never see this couch. So this is like a foreign couch to me. But it actually looks like a freaking living room now. It's so weird too, this, this living room looks so small to me, but then now with a couch in it, I'm like, oh, it's actually pretty big. It's actually probably the size of our old living room. I think I'm gonna start with the clothes because it's the easiest. I know where they go. They go in the closet. Everything else, like, I have to figure out where it goes. But man, there's a lot of clothes. Uh, also, I was realizing, one, the lights in here don't work. I need to either switch out those light bulbs or put a new light fixture or something. And then two, um, I don't know where my dresses are gonna go because there's no bar here. Maybe I'll get a dowel or something. But this is the only thing that, this is the only one that has a long thing, except for Steve's side. I guess I just designated this Steve's, Steve's side because it's smaller. <laughs> and there's these long things, but then I'd have to intermix our clothes. Ew. I don't want to intermix our clothes. We're going to figure it out, but holy bejesus, look at how many boxes of clothes and coats. And, oh my gosh. Ah, uh, ah, my head. Joe has been so much braver at this house than he was when we moved into the condo. He's been following me everywhere. He's been trying to help. He's been a snuggle boy. He's been a good boy. I'm so proud of you, Joe. And he didn't even make any noise on the drive. That was the first time I've ever seen that. What a good boy. What a good boy. Joe was the one I was most worried about. And he has been such a good boy. All the kitties have been so happy here. Like, they love it here. All of them have been out and about and, you know, exploring, doing their own thing. They're very happy. I don't know who's ex more excited, me or the kitties. Common can then your move, man. Good people question if there is one. Well, bad is soon good. Disregard the tally victims. Sick it's pretty hard living knowing father was a ladder. What if my blood goes splatter? This pilot gonna matter at all. If I fall, would you catch me? Okay, hi, hello. I've been doing this for a few hours now, like three hours. And the hardest part is 
figuring out where to put everything. Like once I have the system down, it'll be so easy to put stuff away, but figuring out the system, I no longer have my system. So I had to create new systems. I have sweatshirts in here. I never did that before. Um, I also haven't shared a closet with Steve in over three years, four years almost. And so figuring out his side of the closet, I have to figure out the system for him. Otherwise it'll just be a goddamn shit show in here. So for him, what I realized is all of these shirts were in the dresser, hasn't worn them in years because if he doesn't see it, he won't wear it. So I'm hanging up all of his clothes except for his underwear cause he's gotta wear his underwear. So he'll find that. Um, I put his underwear and his socks down here, so there's that, and then I have shoes for him. I'm temporarily putting my dresses, my longer dresses here, because my longer side, the only place I could put longer dresses on my side of the closet is here, but the dowel is missing. So, I'm doing this for now, but uh, hopefully we'll get a dowel for there, and then that way my brain won't hurt, because my clothes are separated. I don't like that there's, it's like this side, it's like his side and my side, but then my, I still have stuff over there. I don't like it. So yeah, I think I'm okay with taking a break for now. This has been a lot of stuff and a lot of boxes. And I just had to yell at Steve to help me actually unpack because I packed up our entire condo and now I'm not gonna unpack our entire condo. He's gonna can help me. So he doesn't know where anything goes, but, um, all the boxes are in their proper room, so if he can just unload the boxes and break down the boxes, I will be okay with putting everything away. It's been a day, the sun's almost setting already because it goes down so freaking fast. I was hoping to take a walk outside, but I guess that plan is dead. Um, my friend's in town, my friend Will Rubio, shout out, he booked a commercial that shoots here. So he's actually in town and he just wrapped and he's headed out to Red Rock casino my favorite it's right down the street so i think we're gonna take a break a little break i haven't played poker in two weeks that is actually insane i was playing every single day and then now not for two weeks i also haven't exercised in two weeks so haven't used my brain or my body in two weeks it's been a it's been it's been real guys it's been real real i'm gonna put some makeup on and we're gonna go ahead to red rock this is, will be the first actual Vegas thing that we're doing so far in Vegas. I keep forgetting we're actually in Vegas. It looks like California out there for me. So I really do, I keep forgetting that we're in Vegas. It feels like we just moved to a different part of the city. Um, but at any time, Steve and I were talking about this last night, at any time if like we couldn't sleep, like let's say it was like 3 a.m. and we're like, I can't sleep. We could just go to a casino. We could just go play craps. That's so wild. Anyway. I'm already overstimulated just being at home, so I don't know how soon we'll make it out to a casino. I also want to decorate for Christmas. Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot. Right now you're just listening to all the thoughts that clutter my brain all the time, this entire time. You're welcome. It's a party. Oh my God, Vlogmas. Slap it high. Dressing up, fixing my strut.